Okay, guys. Okay, Gabriel, you need to stop moving. Oh. Sorry, Gabriel's on the bed. <laughs> um, as you see, new um, area. I'm trying. I'm in my bedroom doing videos because the light is a lot better in here. So, um, well, update. The freaking witch showed up. I got up this morning, took my temperature, went down to 97.22. So, I kind of knew either she was going to be here today or tomorrow. Which wasn't fun, needless to say. Um, I got very upset, did my crying already this morning. Um, Lee was here. Um, he did mention he, <laughs> he wanted to know what was for dinner. He wanted to know if I wanted to do something special to... Um, lift my spirits because I am upset about it. We are now officially on 10 months. Officially, officially. April, it will be a year. So, um, for, you know, of course you guys know, you subbed to me. We have, we already have the four kids between the two of us. So, um, as much as we want to have a baby together, it's a wait and see game and if it's meant to be it's going to happen for us if it's not then we're happy and blessed with what we have and that's just the way things go um i'm extremely ticked off she showed up needless to say um i think my hormones are finally finally in the past like maybe two or three cycles getting um, back to back to normal. Um, I've never had the breaking out before, which I'm like everywhere now. Um, my breasts were sore this time, which I've never had that before Aunt Flo either. So um, I think this cycle, I don't know, I'm, I might temp. I'm not sure yet. Um... I'm going to ask Lee about doing the maca with me. You see Gabriel. Say hi, Gabe. Hi. Okay, now go sit down. <laughs> Too long. Um. <coughs> okay, what was I saying? Okay, uh, I'm gonna see if he'll do the maca because um I want to try that. If you don't know what it's about, um I'll post Lily's link. Um, she talked a little bit about it. She's doing the powder. I want to try the pill one, so, um, continue taking prenatals, duh. Um, I'm not sure yet, but I might OPK. I might buy cheapies. Um, and for anybody that, kn um, knows anything about I want to know what, if there's any difference between, because I want I might start again this time taking the primrose oil again consistently, um, until ovulation, but, um, I want to know if there's a difference between Fertile CM, and if anybody's taken primrose oil and then took Fertile CM, I want to know which one is better to use, or, um, like with pre, cause with pre seed, I've never tried it yet, but I really don't have a problem in that area during my fertile period with um with being dry or anything. So I'm wondering if my cervical mucus just isn't producing enough to where it's favorable for the sperm. So I I want to try. I want, well, actually, I want to know if I should keep taking my primrose oil this cycle. Because I didn't do, the last time I took it, I kept forgetting it a couple days. So I want to see if I can secularly do that, if that's better, or if I should try the Fertile CM. Because I don't know which one is better. If you guys have, um, let me know if you saw a significant change. In your um, in your in your CM on either one of those products, 
the Fertile CM or the Primrose Oil. So I can hurry up and order one for um, or for a week. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try temping, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. It's kind of hard to remember stuff when you have a six-year-old running around. So if I remember to do it, <laughs> remember to do it. Um, I'm going to try to get the cheapies. Because as far as I know, I'm ovulating around the 14 or 15. That's the last time I did OPKs. It was around that time. So I'm going to try that again. Because I'm trying to keep it as natural as possible. With all natural stuff and stuff like that. Because we don't... Um, for I keep getting this question a lot about going to the doctor. Um... See, our situation, like, because the ones that, um, are with their same, you know, been with their husband through all their kids, and the ones that don't have kids yet, um, we're kind of in the mindset of, we are, he's been in Gabriel's life since he was 11 months old. So, basically, Gabriel's like, like, our biological child together. So, um, we're happy with that. Because with, um, with my CP and everything, we only want, we want one more. And, you know, he's got three daughters from a previous marriage. So, we're happy with whatever God decides to deal, whatever hand he decides to deal us. But, um, we're going to keep trying um, probably up until two years, and then if I just by chance have to get pregnant after that, then I get pregnant after that, but Lee's, you know, Lee's getting older, hell, I'm getting older, <laughs> um, but, what was I say, but I don't, I don't, you know, I don't want him to be like six years old chasing after a toddler, it's just not, it's not fair to him. It's not fair to me to have the brunt of the work put on me because he'll be too old, to, you know. So we just had we're leaving it in God's hands, and whatever He decides to do is what is going to happen. We are perfectly happy and perfectly capable of raising Gabriel, and we have no problem with that. Um, it'd be nice to have a little girl running around the house. But, you know, if maybe if the opportunity arises for adoption, um, my mother was adopted, I have no problem with that. So, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Um, I could pop up one day and decide that it's just not worth the pain and the disappointment every month. And, you know, we could just decide that we, you know, we'd be happier just raising Gabriel. So, I'm going to try that stuff this month. Um, I've heard stories, I'm going back to this, the Maka, um, Kimberly that I watch, I'll put her link in there too. She said that, um, I've heard a lot of good things about it. Um, it's good for, like, um, fatigue and everything it regulates your hormones so if that's my if that's my issue then maybe it will regulate my hormones so we can conceive um it helps with um with the, the male sperm it helps with libido it helps you know they've been using it in peru for thousands of years so and i've heard a lot of people getting pregnant off of it so we're gonna um hopefully try that and we'll see what happens. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.